Hi, I'm Dr. Anjali Malpani, founder director of Malpani Infertility Clinic from Mumbai. I've been practicing IVF from 1990. In fact, our clinic is one of the first clinics, IVF clinics in India. So infertility has been always been there. Today, WHO has a, said that the incidence of infertility worldwide is 17.5%. So it's not that it's only in India or it's not there abroad. It's worldwide. Everybody is infertile. And just to put it in perspective, if you say 17.5%, it means that one in six couples are infertile. In India itself, we have about 17.5 million couples who are infertile. And a lot of it, we feel that infertility is increasing for the simple reason that the diagnosis has been made early. People are much more aware of a few more reasons why infertility is on the rise. There are lots of reasons for it. One is lifestyle changes. So smoking is known to reduce sperm quality. It's known to reduce the egg quality. Excessive alcohol can, does not really reduce the sperm count per se, but leads to sexual dysfunction, such as ejaculatory disturbances. You know, you don't have the dis It's the other way around. Too much alcohol, actually, uh, you know, people have alcohol to say, oh, we'll have a good uh, time. You know, we'll have a nice uh, uh, night, you know, have an active sexual life. But it's actually the other way around. It actually hampers the sexual activity. So excessive alcohol is bad. Uh, drugs like marijuana, Cocaine can actually reduce for in, uh, sperm concentration and motility. And if obesity is again known, you know, it causes hormonal dysfunction. So it again causes infertility. Today, environmental factors such as pesticides, plastic, junk food, these are all theories. We yet need more studies to say for sure that these are hampering infertility. And of course, sexually transmitted diseases in the past, there was no HIV. Today, there's HIV that also can, you know, affect you. So yes, it is there, but the diagnosis is much more. And that's why we feel infertility is rising.